Hi everyone. In this lesson, we'll be looking at food, dining and clothing and health in ancient Pompeii. And it's quite interesting to learn the types of foods that they had. And you, you, might, you might feel like going out to an ancient Pompeian restaurant and having something to eat after this lesson, because it's, it's quite amazing some of the foods that they had. That's what we'll be looking at in this lesson. There is a lot of evidence about food and dining from Pompeii. Food was generally prepared on small portable braziers or tripods cooked over charcoal. Some houses had specific kitchen areas. Wealthy homes appear to have had a room specifically used as a dining room. It was called the triclinium. This was named after the three couches people reclined on while eating. So the Romans really liked to enjoy life. They liked to relax a lot. They liked to relax when they were eating. So they'd recline on a couch when they were eating. And you can see in this picture here, this is some Romans having something to eat. You can see the types of clothing they were wearing and how they're all just sitting down. And down here, you have a smaller person serving someone. This, is, this would have been a slave and slaves were depicted as smaller than the person they're serving. So that's a slave there serving a master. Food was placed on small tables by the couches. Family and guests would be served by slaves. Different eating utensils were used, such as spoons and tableware. Ready cooked food was available in food shops. So you could go out to a local food shop and get something, you might call it takeaway. Actually, had takeaway in Pompeii. You could go and get food that was already ready. Remains of organic material have been found in Herculaneum. This includes carbonized dates, figs, prunes, almonds, chestnuts, and loaves of bread. So isn't that amazing? They've preserved some of the human remains. We've got some remains of animals. We've even got some remains of the food they were eating. Isn't it extraordinary what has been preserved by this massive volcanic eruption that occurred 2000 years ago? Recipes. A collection of recipes attributed to a man believed to be M. Gavius Alpicus has been found. These recipes, which have been altered over time, give us an idea of what was eaten. There was a variety of different food. Meat such as pork, beef and lamb, goat, rabbit and salted meat, Seafood, such as fish, oysters and clams, squids, octopus and prawns. So you can see there's a variety of different foods. There was a wide range of fresh produce. Simple meals of bread, cheese, nuts and salads could be made quickly. An elaborate meal consisted of three main parts. The entree, the main course and dessert. So you can see the, their meals were, were similar to what we would have today. Garum. The Romans loved spicy, strong flavorings in their food. Garum was a favorite. It was a thick, salty fish sauce. And people in Pompeii were known for this and garum was a, a well-known product from Pompeii. Clothing. The toga was often worn by men. It was a heavy woolen garment. It was a garment for formal occasions. Men of rank and the equestrian class usually wore a knee length belted tunic. Working men and slaves wore a similar tunic. They also wore a belt. Women's clothes. Women of rank, such as Eumachia, wore a stola. And we can see a very famous statue here. This is actually Eumachia. She's a well-known, rich, famous person from the time, from Pompeii. And we can get a good idea of the types of clothing that she's wearing. She's wearing a full-length piece of clothing. She's not sort of wearing a mini skirt or something revealing or a pair of jeans or something like that. It looks like she's got a sheet wrapped around her and it goes all the way down to her down to her feet and it covers her head and goes all the way down. So it's quite a beautiful, elegant thing to be wearing. And this, this was a, called a stola. It was a long sleeveless tunic 
and it was usually suspended at the shoulders from short straps. Health. The evidence indicates that people were generally well nourished. And we have lots of different evidence, including the human remains from Pompeii and the human remains from Herculaneum. We've studied the bones, we've studied the skeletons. So we have a good idea of what their health condition was like. There was some wear and decay in their teeth and tuberculosis and malaria were common diseases. So by studying the ancient remains of the people, we can get a, a good idea of what their health was like. And I found it quite interesting to, to look at all the different types of food they have. I don't know if it wet your taste buds. Maybe you feel a bit hungry now. Maybe you'd like to go to a Pompeian restaurant and have something to eat. But uh, that was the, the food, dining and clothing and health from Pompeii. Thank you.